Our today's discussion is on MATLAB simulation of single phase B2G and G2B circuit. This is the basic topology of a single phase battery charging circuit. At the input, we have a front end converter, also known as active rectifier, which converts the AC grid voltage to DC and maintains a constant voltage across the DC bus. Then we have a bi directional buck boost converter, used to control the battery current during charging and discharging operation. Now I will give you the specification of the complete system. Grid voltage is 230 volt RMS at 50 Hz. Filter values are 4.36 mH, 4.06 mH, and 6.23 microfarad. Value of bus capacitance is 5600 microfarad. Buck filter inductance is 20 mH. Output capacitance is 100 microfarad. Battery nominal voltage is 160 volt. Switching frequency of both the converter is 10 kHz. Rated power is 2 kW. Now I will show you the control block diagram used in both the front end converter and bi directional buck boost converter. This is the controller used in the front end converter, which regulates 400 voltage across the DC bus. This is the control block diagram used in the bi directional buck boost converter. This controller is used to regulate the battery charging and discharging current. Now we open the math lab and start doing the simulation. Add a AC voltage source. Set the peak voltage 325 and frequency 50 Hz. Add a voltage measurement block. Connect it across the AC voltage. Add a go-to block. Name it as B-Grid. Add a current measurement block. Add a series RLC branch. Make it as inductance and set the value 2.18 mH. Copy this branch and connect it in the neutral line as well. Add a go-to block. Name it as iGrid. Copy this branch and make it as capacitance. Set the value 6.23 microfarad. Copy this branch and set the value 2.03 mH. Copy this branch and connect it in the neutral line as well. Copy the current measurement block. And change its orientation. Add a go-to block. Name it as INV. Add an IGBT. Uncheck this box. Make the inverter bridge using IGBT. Add a from block and connect it to the gate terminal. Name it as PWM1. Name it as PWM2. Name it as PWM3. Name it as PWM4.
Add a series RLC branch. Make branch type RC, and set resistance 0.0001 ohms and capacitance 5600 microfarad. Also set initial voltage 400. Copy the voltage measurement block. Add a go to block. Name it as BDC. Add a MOSFET. Uncheck this box. Make the buck converter using MOSFET and connect it to the inverter output. Add a from block. Name it as buck. Name it as boost. Add a series RLC branch. Make branch type L, and set value 20 milli Henry. Make branch type C, and set value 100 microfarad. Add a battery. Flip the battery block. Add a bus selector. Add voltage and current to the bus. Add a go-to block. Name it as I bat. And name it as VBAT. Set the battery voltage 160, rated capacity 120 AH, initial SOC 50%, and response time 1 second. Now add APLL. Set frequency 50 Hz and time constant 1 E rise to minus 6. Connect the grid voltage to the PLL block. Add a cosine block. And connect it to the PLL output. Add a sign block and connect it to the PLL output. Add a go to block. Name it as reactive. And name this one as active.
Now copy the DC bus voltage and start making the voltage controller. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Add a constant block. Set the reference voltage 400. Add APID controller. Set KP and KI values. Add a product block. Connect the active component of PLL output to the product block. Copy the sum block. Take the inverter current and connect it to the sum block. Copy the sum block. Add a gain block. Set its value 100. Add an integrator. Copy the sum block. Change its sign. Copy the gain block. Set its value 10. Copy the integrator block. And rotate this block. Copy the gain block. And rotate this block. Set its value 986.8. Copy the sum block. Connect the grid voltage to the sum block. Add a PWM generator block. Make the generator type, single phase full bridge and switching frequency 10 kHz. Add a DMUX. Make number of outputs 4. Now connect all the PWM signals to the gate terminals of IGBT. Copy the battery current to make the current controller. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Add a constant block. Set the current reference 12 amps. Add APID controller. Set controller type PI. Set KP and KI values. Limit the output between 0 and 0 
Add a PWM generator block. Set switching frequency 10 kHz. Connect the output to gate terminal of top device. Add a logical operator. Set the logic type not. Connect its output to the gate terminal of bottom device. Add a scope. Make number of input ports too. Connect grid voltage and current to the scope. Copy the scope. Connect battery voltage and current to the scope. Add another scope. Connect DC bus voltage to the scope. Add a power guide. Set simulation type discrete and sampling time 1E rise to minus 6. Open the model settings. Set solver type or DE23T. Set simulation time 1 second and run the simulation. Now open the scope to view the grid voltage and current. Here the voltage and current are aligned out of phase. Which means power is transferred from the battery to the grid. So the system works in V2G mode. This is the battery voltage and current during V2G mode. Battery current is same as the reference value, that is 12 amps. This is the DC bus voltage during V2G operation, which is regulated at 400 volt. Now to make the system works in G2B mode, reverse the polarity of current reference. Now run the simulation again. Now open the scope. Here both voltage and current are aligned in phase. That is the power is transferred from grid to the battery. So the system works in G2B mode. This is the battery voltage and current during G2B mode. Here you can see that polarity of battery current now has reversed. This is the DC bus voltage during G2B mode, which is regulated at 400 volt. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.